Well, good morning, YouTube. Um, today, um, I, I'm so happy to be filming today. Um, I was, I w a request was made to me at brunch yesterday by my niece, um, who actually is subscribed to my channel. And I may insert her picture, um, just so you can see how beautiful she is. Um, she asked me about doing, um, showing more detail on how I do my eyebrows. And there was another thing she asked me about eyebrows. Oh, and I'm going to try to do a neutral soft cut crease for her today. I'm going to try it. I've never done it before, but um, as always, you know, you start off with a moisturized face. Um, I did put some e.l.f. Uh, eye cream underneath. And you always want to start your any eye look with a good primer. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer photo focus the photo focus one it is pretty good so you just dab that in get it on there really good and kind of rub it through your eyebrows a little bit the top too because you know we put concealer up there as well so yeah I'm gonna try to get through this video really quickly so that um you don't have to uh, but a good eyebrow always starts to remember that you need to go get your eyebrows cleaned up um, and if you're in Memphis and you need a good one let me know because I go to an awesome lady very professional uh, wonderful services um, yeah so I just take this elf um, double-ended brush and I use the um, spoolie in to brush through my comb through my eyebrows and then I take this Jordana Fabu Brow eyebrow pencil um, you see how it's kind of dull I always sharpen it before I use it so you guys can see how uncomplicated my eyebrows really are <laughs> so you get a good sharpen on it and I just kind of follow and make sure you guys can see you the truck the line is already there see and really I just kind of fill in and this is basically all I do for my eyebrows um, clean them up well no I do some more but we're gonna go through that okay a little bit of definition at the front and just kind of get it this really does a great job of laying those hairs down so you want more of the product concentrated towards where you have your weakness. So my weakness is the tail end. So yeah. So you see that mistake right there? We'll clean that up with concealer. Be right back. I'm going to finish the other eyebrow. We'll come back in. Come back to clean up. And I'll show you the rest of the steps. So once you kind of get that on there, go ahead and with your eyebrow pencil, go ahead and take your spoolie and kind of brush through them again. Kind of create... Um, just so you can loosen up that pencil and it's not so heavy. Yeah, I'm doing it kind of hard. I don't want to have it looking too, too harsh. So, yeah, that's why you're going to comb back through it. This is towards the front part. Yes, it looks crazy, but we're going to fix that. Okay. Next, get you uh, whatever concealer you like. I'm going to use the NYX uh, Medium Concealer Conceal Correct Contour Palette. Um, I use uh, the third shade in here. For now, I actually picked up the wrong eyeshadow palette. I mean, um, palette, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work for today. Um, so when I get through with this one, I can go and get the right one. I actually need the dark one. I like the colors in it a little bit better for my skin tone. So I'm going to clean up right now to get you a flat brush. This one is from e.l.f. So it can actually correct. The concealer is going to correct any mistakes that you feel like you made. So you yeah, and to give you a sharper, a sharper line. I'm always, it'll make it look like you just went got your eyebrows done. Okay. And you can drag that down a little bit. I am going to blend it out a little bit more with another brush. And, uh, yeah. So then I take 
<laughs> another shader another flat brush from elf um this one is the black one and i pick up a little bit of this darker shade and i just kind of go on top and clean up where i messed up you don't have to do this i just like to be able to create a really clean look Okay, so I made a little boo-boo there and I can fix that. So yeah, let's drag this all the way down to the end. Okay, so you see where I made a little boo-boo? I'm actually just going to take uh, a little bit more of my brow pencil. I'm just going to clean up my line a little bit. The concealer is already there to kind of guide you. I'm going to take this Real Techniques uh, Luxe Crease Brush and just kind of go ahead and blend that concealer in and down. Up my eyebrows a little bit to see what they're looking like. They're not going to be exactly even, but you know, you can kind of see that they kind of match up a little bit. I'm going to clean up that little part right there. Because this looks a little unnatural to me, I'm actually going to take my spoolie and kind of brush this out just a little bit this way, just to give it the more natural look, okay? Then I'm going to take my concealer and clean up the excess. So now they look a little bit more even. Okay? So, then I'll take a little bit of the Elf this elf powder eyebrow powder and it's just a kind of a little shade lighter and what i use it for is to basically go in and um, really kind of give my eyebrows more of a natural hue at the at the um one second at the uh, i just grab a little elf what's this called elf uh blending brush and i just pick up a little bit of the powder you see i've been using a lot and I just kind of feather it through the front half. Not so much worried about the end, because I'm going to set that. But see how that just kind of made them look a little more natural? So any excess, I just pick up my brush that I used to blend out. Okay. So once that's there, I take a little bit of the Control Freak um, eyebrow gel. I know it seems like a lot, and I just kind of go ahead. Not a lot of this product, because I sometimes want to go through at the end and run the little MAC uh, gel through it. So this right here is just getting it set so it doesn't move. I'm getting ready to do my eyeshadow look. And any fallout or whatever, I can just kind of like brush it away. It just seems easier that way to me. So yeah, that's it for the eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna 
come right back and we're gonna start on the eyeshadow okay, look. Okay, so for the eyeshadow look, of course, I'm kinda in a hurry today. I'm just gonna take a little bit of laying low and um, pat that on to my eyelid. Make sure it's well blended. And this is just gonna help me get rid of the discoloration I have on my eye. Kind of neutralize my eye to give me an even base to start with. So I put it on here and sometimes like if I feel like the brush isn't doing what I need it to do, I will take my finger and just make sure to get it blended into my eyelid. Okay, so you, this is an extra step. You don't have to do this because the, this kind of dries pretty kind of quick. But I'm just going to take a little bit of my RCMA note color powder and just kind of dab it over just to kind of set that. You don't have to. I mean, when I got that, I mean like a little bit and just kind of dab it over the, the uh, base that we put down. Okay, and if you have the Urban Decay um, Gwen Stefani palette, that's the one I'm going to use today to kind of work the um, cut crease look. So, the first color I'm going to go in with from this palette, of course, is uh, going to be Stark. Um, this color right here like a light. See? That color. I'm going to go in with that on the upper... Take my NYX number 17, pick that color up, and I'm just going to kind of go in on the top half of my eyelid and blend it in. This doesn't have to be, this part right here doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just trying to make sure that this almost matches what I laid down anyway. So it's really the more so this part right here that I'm kind of getting it ready okay okay sorry I had a phone call interrupt but yeah so I just took a little bit of zone and I went right here I'm keeping it all above the crease really right into the crease above it and just blending it okay so yeah, the next color I'm going to go in with is Pump, and I'm actually going to kind of try to see if I can trace this in here like this. I think I kind of went too far. Let's see. Mm. I'm trying, I was trying to keep it up off of my eye lid, but Okay, so we're going to have to use a little bit of, uh, alright, so since I made a boo boo for the cut crease part, I'm just going to blend out this top half. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick up a little bit of, um, start because I didn't want it to go too, too dark over here in this corner. So I'm going to try, hold on one second, I'm going to try it on this side to see if I can get it. Okay, yeah. So just kind of place it and drag it over. Create your little line like that. See the line I created? That's really what I wanted that side to look like. But. Okay, so I saw them do a little trick, and I'm going to try it in just a second to see if I can get exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take a little bit of the black that's in there, too, and kind of go right here. Let's see if I can. I don't know why I'm having such difficulty with this eye, but... I tell you what.
Yeah. Not so much this side, but definitely this side. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the brush I used earlier and let's just try to blend out this top half to fix that. I'm gonna finish blending this out and then when I come back I'm gonna use um some of that uh concealer to see if I can fix my mistake. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer out of the NYX, the lightest shade that's in here, and I'm gonna see if I can carve out my cut crease that I was trying to do. Um, yeah. Just try to clean it up a little bit. Hold on, I gotta put that down. And, okay, much better. Okay, so yeah, that seems to have cleaned it up just a little bit. Let's see if we can get the other side done. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm gonna take the brush. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna take the brush to kind of. Okay, hold on one second, you guys. I keep loop. Okay, no, no, here it is. I'm gonna take this brush that I used earlier to cut the crease with, and see. Let me see if I can go over the top without messing up my. Concealer. Okay. I'm through. Take a little more of my concealer on this side. Clean it up. Alrighty, I think that looks pretty good. So the next color I'm going to go in with to actually go on the lid now is um, this color called Skimp out of this palette. Uh, pick up the Urban Decay brush and let's just go in. This is set. This is basically kind of like setting that concealer so we can have this cut crease look. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take the, the uh, brush that I used earlier to kind of make sure that that line is kind of cleaned up a little bit. Let 
don't think I like it. Yeah, I think I like it. Okay. I should have got enough. be back with the finished look in just a second Kirsten I hope this um, helps you I'm gonna take a little bit of um, a little brush a little kind of clean it off a little bit i to make sure that that is kind of blended right through here give it a neater look I think that's what the cut crease is supposed to look like a little bit neater Alrighty, I'll be back. So I actually meant to come back on and tell you guys about the Pure Miracle Mist Hydrating Fat. It has quickly become my favorite. As you can tell, I, can, I have just drenched my face in it. And um, yeah, just kind of let it dry. And then I'll come back and uh, we will finish the lips. Oh no, I could just come back with the finished lips. I mean, finish look. <laughs> so you guys can kind of see um, what it looks like. Um, normally I will take something and kind of like Go ahead and start kind of fanning it in so it can dry. Oh um, yeah, I'm gonna fix my hair and I shall be right back. Yeah, so this really sets the makeup really, really well. Um, you know what? I kind of feel like it keeps it, uh, keep my face from being so powdery. Um, I'm still practicing the wing. Um, woo, that is not my favorite thing. I just want to conquer it. You know how you want to conquer something that you kind of feel like you should be able to do. <laughs> Well, that's me in the wing eyeliner. But, yeah, I'll be back with the finished look in just a bit. Okay, YouTube. Kirsten. <laughs> this is the final look. Um, I just did a nude lip today. Um, kind of go with my nude eye. Um, I hope that this is what she was looking for. She will let me know if it's not. Um, and I just used um, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette to do the um, eyes. Which I think that they turned out really, really well. Um, it was a little more glamorous than I thought. I thought it would be, oh, let me do the finish and touch for my eyebrow. So, yes, I do take a little bit of the MAC Brow Set and show off. And I just kind of run it through very lightly. Nothing heavy. Okay. Boo-boo. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, I just kind of lightly go through and kind of brown them up. It's a okay um yeah so that's what i do towards the end just to, as a finishing touch and I, and I do that after i've sprayed my face with the um hydrate i mean the pure the lord today the pure miracle mist hydrate and say i love this stuff um it just really gives it a great finish um yeah, and it doesn't really take away the madness of my um, makeup, which I like. Uh, it just kind of seems like it settles really good into the skin and sets your makeup for the rest of the day. So, um, if you guys have any questions, you know, please let me know. Um, I'm surely hoping that this is the look that Kirsten was talking about um, to do more of a um, soft cut crease for her. Um, I really like how it turned out. It's it's a little different for me, not something I'm used to doing, but, you know, that's the challenge of, that you have to kind of overcome. Um, and I'm going to try it again. Um, I really do like it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me give you a close-up. I don't know if that's considered a really, I think it's a soft cut crease. It's not really harsh. Um, you can definitely tell the difference between um, the light and the dark is what I think. Uh, but, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. I'm off. Um. <sighs> so many errands to do today. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys later. Toodles. <laughs>